Laura's on, I think. Hold on. Hi, guys. It's Jane. How are you? No, wait a minute. I have to make sure the camera's on, okay? Hold on, okay? Wait, let me do this.
know, all the icons that look hot, you know, you girls that think you have to look like that, I feel sorry for you. Pick an ugly day. Pick an ugly day and just be yourself. What else? What else? Uh, it's so, the society is so superficial. I mean, you've always got all these beautiful women on the TV smiling. Of course, I'm not beautiful, but you know, oh, gorgeous hair, gorgeous legs, gorgeous, gorgeous. What about the women that cook all day? What about the women that have to clean diapers? What about the women that have to do their duty at night? Are they always looking so hot? I don't think so. I don't think so. I feel so sorry for most women. They have to look really good. And you know what? Who cares? Just go around the house looking like me. Do I care if the mailman sees me like this? No, I don't care. As long as he doesn't bring me any bills. That's the part that I don't like. But anyway, let's go back to these superficial women. I've been a psychic for almost 25 years, talking to these broads on the telephone. They make me so sick, I could puke. You know, you guys, are you going to marry these girls? Oh my God! They, when they go into the girls' job, they sit there and they look at themselves for at least 15 minutes to get each perfect hair right. Then after they go out there, they say they're doing this for their boyfriend, but in the meantime, they're scanning all around them. Who are they attracting? And do they have sexual power? Disgusting. There is a group of women who really don't care what you men think of us. We figure we figure we, we do enough at night to make you guys happy. We don't have to walk around all day trying to prove that we're still sexy. But I feel so sorry for the girls that they have to keep up appearances. You know, they have to keep up appearances. You know, nice car, nice clothes, <sighs> cute little pug nose. Real cute little pug, pug no, not a strong, determined woman like me. Long beak. I'm not afraid of it, and I'm not ashamed of it either. I'm proud of it. Hold on for a minute, okay? I, I'll be right back. <laughs>